Greetings, Chosen Enthusiast! Today, we dive deep into the world of The Chosen, exploring the series' triumphs and the discussions it has sparked among its dedicated fan base. If you're excited about The Chosen and all things related, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Dallas Jenkins' creation, produced by Angel Studios, has been nothing sort of extraordinary. As the largest audience-funded TV project, it has captivated millions worldwide and garnered substantial praise. Season 4 alone has raked in nearly $20 million at the box office, solidifying its place in the annals of television history. However, not all chosen fans share an unwavering enthusiasm. Some viewers have expressed reservations about the series' approach to the Gospels. Recently, the decision not to include the transfiguration was labelled a huge mistake by some online. As the narrative advances towards the Passion, concerns have arisen about the pacing of Jesus' story. Fans are worried that key teachings and moments are being rushed. In a Reddit post, one user voiced their concerns, highlighting omitted stories like the restoration of legend and dinner with the furries. The person wrote, starting to dislike that they are skipping over a good amount of stories to get to Holy Week, citing the restoration of legend, his dinner with the freeze, healing the ten men with leprosy, and other moments. I still love the show, but I feel them skipping over other important parts of the ministry to get to the end kinda takes away from the magic of the show, which was making the story of Jesus more human and personal. Despite the critics, some fans defend Jenkins' storytelling choices. One argues that many Gospels themselves allocate disproportionate text to the story. It's a reminder that Chosen is an interpretation, not a direct translation. The Chosen community is divided. While some express disappointment over skipped stories, others understand the challenges of adapting biblical narratives into a TV show. The debates highlight the delicate balance of staying true to the source material while creating engaging television. Fans who appreciate the series remind critics that The Chosen is not a replacement for the Bible. It's a unique storytelling endeavor that requires effort and resources. Some advise turning to the Bible for a comprehensive experience of the stories not covered in the show. And there you have it, a glimpse into the dynamic world of The Chosen where success meets scrutiny. What are your thoughts on the debate surrounding The Chosen storytelling? Share your perspectives in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like this video if you found it insightful and until next time, stay chosen.